What is going on today guys? I am Cadillac7 and today in this video I thought I'd like to bring you guys a tutorial on how to drift really nicely in GTA. This thing sort of thing will only work if you know how to drift anyway but nevertheless it will help you learn how to drift and everything. Um, there's certain customizations you need and you need this car, the Benefactor Schwarzer. It's 80 grand but if you're lucky enough they're quite rare but you can find them on the street like I did. But yeah basically um you need these certain customizations which i'll show you in a minute but you you need to be very strict on them and there are certain customizations you need but if you just want to be certain just get the exact same customizations as me because i can't quite remember exactly what you need but um you don't need the color and everything and the number plate but yeah don't bother changing your wheels or anything and just remember not to get bulletproof tires um this glitch is very it's sort of a glitch it's very simple and yeah i think you can actually do it on the back of a low rider as well which i will be showing it in another video or something but yeah i'm just gonna show you the customizations now yeah so these are customizations you want there's the quick preview of the name of the car which i already told you but yeah basically when i repair it these are the customizations you're gonna want um yeah if you just like go with the customizations that i get because i do kind of like put my own stuff on it but yeah basically if you just go with the customizations that i get then yeah basically you'll be fine i don't have any armor no brakes no bumpers no rear bumpers you don't need any of that engine full exhaust the race exhaust the last one no one ever puts explosive on their cars you have that grill the hood i just left the same horn don't need to worry about that at all neither lights neither theft protection neither plate don't worry about the color you uh, you can put a roll cage in it if you want don't worry about the roof um uh skirts you need to put the lowest ones on spoiler you need the third spoiler the third one down low suspension and transmission is needs to be full i put turbo on it i don't think you need it but it's worth just putting on and i just put the best windows on so yeah those are the customizations you need now i'm going to actually show you how to do the glitch so yeah i'll be back in a minute Yeah, so guys, this is the actual bit you want to worry about, and this is how to do it. And I personally do it in the airport because you're going to need to use a gun, and you kind of want to go into a secluded place so you don't get cops or anything. But yeah, I just go into the hangar, and it's really simple. It doesn't matter if your car's damaged. I don't th look, I don't think anyway, unless the, you've got problems with your wheels. But it doesn't really matter if your car's damaged. And basically all you want to do is you <clears throat> sorry basically all you want to do is you want to like get out your car and basically you want to get like the advanced rifle out if you've unlocked that i assume all you have basically all you want to do is i go into first person and what you do you don't have to be a next gen but what you do is you have to shoot the middle of the hub and until you put an entire clip into the hub and until you reload then you'll know you've put an entire clip in then just do it on the next wheel and yeah once you put the entire clip in you'll see when i look around the front that i've lowered the suspension on that side if you look the right side is lower than the left side so now when i start shooting at the left side now it will go like the same again so it's very important because don't put bulletproof tyres on it because you cannot do it with bulletproof tyres on at all you cannot do it with bulletproof tyres on and yeah that's kind of a problem like uh like if you you can't really be a mission car because you'll get your tyres popped but i just use it for doing drift montages and everything so yeah now you've done that you've re it's kind of a good car for drifting anyway but you'll like straight away as soon as you pull away you'll see that it's better at drifting just like watch that straight away it's just automatically that bit that bit better at drifting and i think like if you want to make some really cool like skits or something this um like will should really help you out and yes the back of the car does bounce but don't worry about that it's just the back hitting the floor it doesn't do any damage to your car it's just a bit glitchy 
And yeah, you can do drifts and everything. I think it's kind of a handy glitch to have around. Um, yeah, I kind of hope they don't patch this because it's kind of like realistic and it's kind of um, sort of like really handy and cool, like a cool little thing. Um, yeah, you can just do donuts and yeah, like I'm not even holding RB or anything. Like I'm just doing donuts just by holding RT and moving the left stick around. So yeah, it kind of makes kind of a cool loop shape as well. But yeah, um, that's about all this like glitch sort of thing does. But yeah, there's not really like else a lot you can do. But I just think it's a pretty cool thing to have around. Um, yeah. Anyway guys, remember to, if you like the video, remember to like, comment and subscribe and yeah, I'll see ya.